we're going to talk about theory of integration. Theory of integration relates to corporations and individuals. And in, any income from a corporation should not be taxed differently from business income earned directly by an individual as a proprietor. So let's take a little example here. Let's see I'm an individual who's running a business as a proprietorship and here I am as a corporation as a shareholder of the same corp of the same business. So if I earn the income as an individual as a proprietorship, let's say I'm earning income of $200,000. I should be in the same position as if I earn the income in a corporation and pay it out as a dividend. So let's say as an individual I earn $200,000 in profit. On a $200,000 profit, let's say my net after tax income after paying all taxes is let's say about $120,000. So as a corporation, the same issue should be that after I pay the corporation taxes and the dividends are paid out of retained earnings, I'm left with a pretty well similar amount of after-tax income of $120,000. So at the end of the day, whether I receive the income as an individual or I receive it as a corporation, I'm at the same position. However, there's substantial opportunity for deferral of taxes because as a corporation, my taxes for the dividend taxes are not paid out at, until eventually they're distributed to the shareholder. So here as an individual, I pay tax as soon as I earn it and at that level, whereas as a corporation, I pay tax at a lower rate, but at the lower rate, after I distribute the dividends, the, tax, the taxes are paid only after the dividends are distributed. So there is a substantial chance for deferral of income taxes.